Hello children, <coughs> we are continuing with uh, class 7 physics chapter 4 light and now this is part 5. We are continuing with the color of an object based on reflection and absorption and we are discussing case 2. So when a colored light falls on a white object, what happens? Let us say this object is white in color and And let us say we have light falling on it which is only of one color and let us say this is red. So white as you know reflects all the colors. So if red light falls on white color, a white object that red light will get reflected into the eye. So this eye sees the red color. So the entire object which is white will appear red to the eye. Now, Once again, <coughs> let us say we have a white object in which red color is falling on it. White reflects all colors, so red light gets reflected into the eye. The eye sees the red color and this white object will appear red to the eye. Let us discuss the second case when a colored light falls on a colored object. colored object of same color. This means that now the object is let us say red color. Now we have an object which is red color and red light is falling on it. Since this object is red it will reflect the red color itself. So since the red color is falling in the eye this object will appear red itself. <clears throat> so red color will appear red when red light is falling on it. Now let us discuss the next case. Let us say this is red and we are discussing now case 3 when colored light falls on a colored object of let us say this time it will be different color. different color. Now let us say this object is red in color and we are shining blue light on it. Now this object is red in color, it will reflect red light and it will absorb all the remaining colors. So this means that blue light will get absorbed by the red color and it will not reflect any light. So since no colored light is getting reflected, this object will appear black. As you know that if all the colors get absorbed and no color is reflected, that object will appear black. So red object under blue light will appear black in color. Now let us discuss the next topic called color subtraction. In this case, let us say we have an object which absorbs a green color. So this material is designed in such a way that it absorbs green color. Now let us say here we shine white light on it and as you know white light consists of three colors, red, green and blue red, green and blue and let us say this is the observing eye here. Since as we have said before that this object absorbs green color, so this green color gets absorbed and it reflects the remaining two colors which is red and blue. Red and blue gets reflected. Now these two colors they combine together and as you know, as you know when red and blue combine you get magenta. So the eye sees the magenta color, so this object will appear in magenta color to the eye. So once again, let us say we have a, an, a material which absorbs green color and on, in this object we shine white light on it. White light consists of three colors, red, green and blue. 
out of which green gets absorbed. So the remaining two colors, red and blue, they get reflected and these two colors combine to form the magenta color. So since the eye sees the magenta color, this object will appear in magenta color. Now continuing with the same object, let's say instead of white light, we shine cyan color, C-Y-A-N. We shine cyan color and as you know, cyan color consists of two light, color, uh, two <coughs> colors and which is blue and green. Now when you shine cyan color and this uh, a material which absorbs green color, this green color gets absorbed. So the only color of light that is left is blue which gets reflected into the eye. So the eye sees blue color. So this ob object will appear blue to the eye. So once again, we have a material which absorbs green color in which we are shining, shining cyan color. Cyan as you know consists of two colors which is blue and green and these two green colors when they shine on this object, green gets absorbed. So there is only one color that is left to get reflected. So blue color gets reflected into the eye. Eye sees the blue color. So this object will appear blue to the eye. Next, let's discuss composition of white light. If we take a triangular shaped prism and we shine white color light on it, <clears throat> prism will refract the white light and it will break this into seven different colors. And before, when it enters the first surface, it will reflect it a bit and when it leaves the second surface, it will reflect it even more. So it will give you seven colors, one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. And starting from the bottom, this will be V, I, B, G, Y, O, R, are the seven different colors in which the white light breaks up into. So, R stands for red, O stands for orange, Y stands for yellow, G stands for green, blue, B stands for blue, I stands for indigo and V stands for violet. Now you can remember the sequence of colors by reading it upwards and just remember the sequence V, I, B, G, Y, O, R. So this is the seven different colors in which the white light breaks up into. So these <coughs> and these seven colors is called the spectrum. So once again, if you take a prism made of glass and in one of the faces you shine white light, the white light will get reflected and refracted and broken up into seven different colors. It will get refracted further and these are the seven colors starting from at the bottom, we have got violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. You can rem remember this in this sequence, Vibgyor and this entire set of seven colors is called the spectrum. Now this splitting of white light with seven colors which is the spectrum creates a natural phenomena called a rainbow. I am sure many of you have seen a rainbow in the sky when the light is when the sunlight is there during the day and there is a light rain happening in the sky. So this is a very beautiful phenomena and it is really wonderful to see that. Now let us discuss exactly how that happens. Uh, after a rainfall, after rainfall a lot of small droplets of water gets suspended in the air okay and when sunlight falls on that each of these each of these droplets acts like a mini prism and they break up the light into seven different colors and since there are millions of droplets of water in this in this in the air so all of these droplets acts as 
a tiny prism and they all break up the light into seven different colors and they combine to give you a beautiful rainbow which you can see stretching across the sky. So <clears throat> this is the way uh, rainbow is formed. So once again after rain, the, after rain happens or sometimes there is light rain happening, dro droplets of water is, get suspended in the sky and when the sun shines, the white light from the sun gets refracted by these tiny droplets of light, uh, sorry, of water which act like mini prisms and it breaks up into, breaks the light into seven different colors and all these, so all these prisms which act together creates a band of seven colors which is called a rainbow. Alright, thank you very much.